गुड आफ्टरनून यहाँ से इस वेज वाई नॉट बी मेक दिस हॉट एंड सर्टी आफ्टर नो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स टुडे एंड एस वी हैव ऑलरेडी गेट गुड नॉलेज अबाउट द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मेटल इफ आई टेक वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो क्लास फॉर आई सी वाई वॉट आर द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मेटल So why not we shift towards the more interesting part of the chapter, which is your chemical properties of the matter uh, and elements. So today I will take up the chemical properties of the metals only, because here we are not going to do the comparative study, but we are instead we will individually study about the metals and non-metals. Because in the chemical property, the comparative study is just not possible. So what we are going to study when I am saying that I am going to give you the idea of the chemical properties of the matter. Uh, what will be the topics which will be covered under it? So try to know that uh, chemical property is actually the study of actual chemistry. Here we are studying the branch of science which is the chemistry, and in chemistry we study about the chemical combination. So naturally the chemical combinations come under the chemical property, and this chemical combination will be the behavior of metals towards the environmental factor. Environmental factors are not going to serve us. What do we call the environmental factor? Environmental factors are nothing but what are the resources which are available in our surrounding, like metals. How do they combine with the air? How do they combine with the water? What is their their behavior towards some acidic substances? What is their how do they behave towards the basic substances? This all will be uh, like nothing but the part of your chemical properties of the metal. So today, since we, uh, I have just started a topic, I have just commenced a topic. So why not I take up the uh, uh, the most abundant resource of the surrounding that is your air, and how do the air behave towards the metal? It is very, very in fact interesting to know because we call it corrosion in the day-to-day -day life uh, or rusting. So why is trying to understand that what part of the because air is not an element. Metal is an element, but the air is not an element. Air is a mixture of elements and compounds. Where we have uh, uh, good idea that the what are the components of air? One of the components of air, which is uh, actually the hero of the air, I would say, which is what oxygen. Oxygen which gives us the life for our survival. Oxygen is required. So that oxygen gives us life because we are breathing it. But that oxygen uh, does play any role when we contact with the metals. This is the question of it. So try to understand. <laughs> Naturally, because the oxygen is one of the most reactive element. One of the most reactive element among all the hundred eighteen elements is your oxygen. Naturally, this oxygen keeps combining with the metals as well as non-metals. Here we will study about the what will be the chemical combination of metals with oxygen. So here I am representing the metal as as symbolic representation. I am giving here as M. Suppose that M is your metal. When it combines with air, air has what reactive part? That reactive part only is valid here. That reactive part is your oxygen. That oxygen will combine with the metal and it will make the metallic oxide. Here they are in the elemental form. Here they become the compound. That compound is nothing but the oxide of metal. And it has been found through the various experiments that the oxide of the metal actually is your basic in nature. That also we will verify in today's class only. So now we put the value of the metal. Uh, how we will uh, start the uh, study of the uh, metals with the air, the reaction of metals with the air. We will start with the most reactive metal. What is the most reactive metal? It is your nothing but the sodium and potassium together. Sodium and potassium acquire the top plus the top plus in the reactivity scale. What is reactivity scale? Let me uh, start the displacement reaction and then you will be given its color of it. But now just try to understand that the sodium and potassium are the most reactive metals, and this sodium and potassium will come into contact of air. How do the behavior? The behavior is very very abrupt. How? Because the sodium and potassium just bond vigorously. When it comes in the contact of air, due to the sodium and potassium are never kept in open, but they are always kept immersed in kerosene oil. Because the kerosene oil is oil and the air can't can enter inside the oil. That's why the tight jar we keep the sodium and potassium deep inside the your kerosene oil to remain safe and just avoid accidents, which will be like catching of the fire. So sodium is combined with oxygen. And it is called sodium oxide. Sodium oxide is a basic oxide. Sodium oxide 